All right, so I'm going to take you through the steps of making a DVD using the program DVD Styler. All right, I looked at several programs before picking this one, um, but this one is the easiest one, the best one that I found. Uh, one, it's free. Uh, two, it allowed me to make menus, which is important because I use these to make video lessons um, and my kids need to be able to find the different lessons uh, easily without having to scan through their disk. Um, three, it's easy to use. Alright, so when you first open it, this is what you get. You get your welcome page. Now, I'm going to start with create a new project. My new project's name is going to be Math Part 2 because this is my second math disc. All right. The only thing you need to change on this, and you only have to change it once, and then it should stay changed. Change your video format to NTSC. All right. NTSC. And then click OK. Go through and there's not a lot to pick from because this is free it is very simple but it, these are some nice ones um, I'm gonna go with this one all right and um, voila for your first menu page you don't have to do anything to it um, you can leave it just like this uh, this says disk title I am gonna change that to math five part two all right did you see what i did i did it really fast sorry right click properties and then you can change it change it and then click ok uh, the other two they uh one you click on it it play all obviously it plays everything on the disc and the second one you click select title and it'll take you to menu two all right, now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on these and delete them because four is not enough. Um, I fill these up with as many video lessons as I can. So I don't have to have so many pages of menus. Um, I delete those all first. And I like mine to match, so I get rid of those. All right. So, to add your videos, it's as easy as taking your file and you just slide it over. That's it. All right. So, I'm going to take metric, add that. All right. And then I want to do PAV. All right, then I want to add time. And these, um, it's got like little snaps where it snaps into place, so it's kind of easy to get them lined up. So it's kind of like a grid that they snap into, so you can kind of get them lined up pretty even. All right statistics lovely statistics is so much fun okay now notice down here I'm already up to 97 minutes out of 136 now it says 136 but the discs that I'm using are 120 minutes so I have to be mindful of how much time here and I kind of finagle it to make sure I get as much on as possible without going over all right and then I have my two-step patterns which I'm adding here see I'm already up to a hundred five minutes now I've added um, now notice down here you have your storyline these are your they're in order you have metric, PAV, time, statistics, two-step patterns. 
So one, two, three, those five. So with classifying and measuring angles, I'm already, already up to um, 115 minutes. So I can look and see if I have something that's five minutes. So triangles would work. Um, now, I don't have a third page. So what you do is you right click, add, VMGM menu. Okay, so that gives you a, um, a menu three. And it comes in in a black. And you can go through and... Put your background in to match your other. And I'm going to add, let's see, triangles gets me up to 18. And translations oh, gets me up to 21. All right, but that's good because that shows me, I can show you how to take it off. All right, so to take it off, here is translations. So you right click on it, press delete. Do you really want to delete it? Yes, I really want to delete it. All right, now it leaves this box on here. That's okay, delete that too. Right click, delete. All right, so that leaves me with only one lonely one on this page. All right. Now I also need a two buttons. Now you can add them like that. I cheat. I'm a cheater. I just go to this page. And what I'll do is I'll just take um I need these two, right click, copy, and then right click and paste, Oops. and then I'll just move them. And then I'll have to check and make sure uh, that they go to the right place. Alright, so that takes me back to the first menu and this one says and this and that's not what I want I want to say jump to menu 2 okay because that's my second one so I just right clicked on it right clicked on it clicked properties and I changed it to take me back to menu 2 Okay, so when I click this home button, it takes me back to menu one, which is my main home page. If I click this arrow, it takes me back to menu two. If I click this arrow, it takes me to menu three. If I take and click this arrow, it takes me back to menu one. All right, now the other thing I want to do is you can't really tell what these are. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to add text. So I right click, add text. All right, so my first one is metric. And you just click on it. Get your, When you see the plus sign, you just grab a hold to it. And you just add these in. To get to the next line, you just press enter. All 
Remember these just snap so they're really easy to line up. Right click, add text. Now, if you put these out of order and you want to switch their order, you can grab a hold to them and just slide them and move their order, and it automatically moves their little thing up here to the right order. Um, if you don't need or want a chapter clicky thingy for each one of these, you don't have to have one. Like if you want them to go from metric to PAV, um, you don't have to have each one because each one of these is a separate video lesson that's why I have each one separate alright so voila alright so now my DVD is done voila I have 118 minutes of my 120 minutes. I have my main menu title it says play all select title. I have my subtitles here. One little dinky one left behind here. I have these video lessons on here. I'm ready to go. Alright so the next thing I can do is I can burn it. Now, the first time you burn it, you feeling kind of nervous, and that's okay. I feel nervous each time. If you click the preview button here, before you burn your DVD and ruin a disc, you can actually preview what your DVD would look like and make sure that all your bells and whistles and everything work. Okay? And I will warn you, though. It takes about 30 to 45 minutes. It is a long process because it runs all the code and gets everything straight, and blah, blah, blah. But you click preview and you'll get to view your video. Um, and then you can use it and make sure it's what you want before you burn it to disk. If you're making more than one copy, the second time you go to burn it, just unclick that so you don't waste that extra time to preview it. You can just go ahead and burn it. It takes about 30 to 45 minutes to burn each disc. It is not a super speedy process, um, but this is a good resource that we can use for our kids during this time period. All right, I hope this was helpful. Um, super easy, you can do it. Hey. Have a great day.